There are three ways you can create rooms in PlanUp. Tap, hold and drag to create a square room, then tap on the blue measurement boxes. This will open up the number pad on the right. You can then enter your required measurement. Alternatively, once you select Quick Draw, you can add a room measurement before placing the room. Using your keyboard number pad, first enter the width measurement and hit enter. Then enter the depth and hit enter. Move the mouse cursor and your room will appear. You can now move the room and click it into place. The third drawing method is wall by wall. Tap the blue button and then tap the wall you wish to start on. Then tap one of the starting points and a wall will appear. Using the number pad, enter the wall measurement. To start your next wall, tap on the plus symbol. Using the white arrow, you can set an angle if needed. Now repeat this process until you get back to the start. This will then complete your room. Keep an eye on the auto-complete option in the bottom right hand corner. It will try to offer you a solution to complete your room. If it has the right solution, tap it and your room will automatically finish. When using QuickDraw, you will find that it can mould around existing rooms you've already created. This is especially handy to fill awkward landings and hallways of strange shapes. Tap, hold and drag, just like creating a square room, and QuickDraw will fill in the space. Also, you can create rooms inside other rooms using QuickDraw. Corners can be made angled or curved. Tap on a corner point and select each option from the pop-up menu. You can split walls by tapping on a wall and selecting the split option, or simply double tap on the wall at the point you wish to split it. You can also manipulate the walls on your plan if you need to make any changes.